All right, now it is more than six months since the coronavirus pandemic had induced lockdowns around the world. Close to about 7 million coronavirus cases have been reported in the United States. And it appears that Donald Trump and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention are still not on the same page. Now, Donald Trump has unveiled his plan for vaccine distribution with a pretty optimistic estimate, which contradicts the estimate that's been put out by the CDC. Now, Trump has said that authorities are on track to deliver and distribute the vaccine and will start sometime in the month of October. We're on track to deliver and distribute the vaccine uh, in a very, very safe and effective manner. Uh, we think we can start sometime in October. Uh, so as soon as it uh, is announced, we'll be able to start. That'll be from mid-October on, uh, maybe a little bit later than that, but uh, we'll be all set. Now, in a press conference that was held just a few hours earlier, the director of the CDC told the lawmakers that he does not expect a potential vaccine to be available to most Americans until at least the middle of 2021. I think there will be vaccine that initially be available sometime between November and December but very limited supply and will have to be prioritized. If you're asking me, when is it going to be generally available to the American public so we can begin to take advantage of vaccine to get back to our regular life, I think we're probably looking at third, late second quarter, third quarter, 2021. Now, during a media briefing, when Donald Trump was questioned about the contradicting statements on vaccine availability, he claimed that Robert Redfield had actually made a mistake. No, I, I think he made a mistake when he said that. It's just incorrect information. And I called him. And he didn't tell me that. And I think he got the message maybe confused. Maybe it was stated incorrectly. No, we're ready to go immediately as the vaccine is announced. And it could be announced in October, could be announced a little bit after October. But uh, once we go, we're ready. The Trump also contradicted CDC director's remarks on the use of face masks. Robert Redfield called face masks a very powerful public health tool. He's requested all Americans to continue to cover their faces. He's also said that a mask gives more protection from COVID-19 than a vaccine. Number one, is not more effective by any means than a vaccine. And I called him about that. Those were the two things I discussed with him. And I believe that uh, if you ask him, he would probably say that he didn't understand the question because I said to him, I asked him those two questions, the one question which we covered and the mask question. Now, Trump also contradicted these remarks and said that a face cover is not more effective by any means. He also went on to add that the CDC's director did not understand the question correctly. All right, now to give us more perspective in terms of what is happening in terms of this as, as Donald Trump has been putting, that perhaps the CDC director may not have given out the right information. We're joined in by Jagruti Dave, who's joining us live from Washington, D.C. Now, Jagruti, give us a sense of what is happening here. The president says that the vaccine will be available before the end of this year, but the CDC director insists that it, even if it is available, it'll be in a very limited amount, and the actual vaccine will be rolled out sometime in the middle of 2021. What is happening? Yes, yeah, so critics of the president say that this is an example of the rosy picture um, that he is painting of um, the pandemic, not really understanding the seriousness um, of the situation, that he is insisting that a vaccine will be available uh, in a matter of weeks, um, whereas uh, many health experts, including this, uh, the director of the CDC and including the chief scientific advisor of Operation Warp Speed, um, the federal project to uh, fast-track the development of vaccines and therapeutics, uh, they've all said that the likelihood of a vaccine by October is highly unlikely. Now, remember, we have three vaccines in the United States that are in the final experimental stages, but there isn't a vaccine yet in, pe in, in the government's hands, as it were. So... 
This is what critics of the president are saying. Uh, some of the other critics of the president are saying is that, uh, that, that, that he is politicizing vaccine development. This is, in fact, one of the things that Joe Biden said of the president today uh, when he was giving a speech uh, in Delaware um, of his own vaccine development plans. Right. Is, is this something that is being done by Donald Trump deliberately keeping in mind the elections in November? Because if he were to tell the people that a vaccine will be available before the end of this year, that perhaps may improve his chances of returning as the president. Look, you know, scientists, you know, even people like Dr. Anthony Fauci, um, they have said that, look, you know, he's they're optimistic of a vaccine happening and that it could happen if the early data proves um, to be uh, 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 good, looking good, then there could be a vaccine earlier than people might think. But this is about the likelihood of a vaccine um, that many scientists are saying it's just very unlikely that it's that it'll happen um, before the election by the end of October, November. And so it has led um, critics of the president to say that he is, um, you know, he is talking about vaccines and using the date um, as part of his election campaign, as part uh, of a strategy to get uh, voters to uh, get on board with him and, uh, you know, the way he praises his own administration's handling of the pandemic. It's all wrapped up in that. So that is what critics are saying. The president um, would say that he is uh, just looking at, at uh, right. you know, at what's happening, that there are vaccine trials, that there are companies um, that are, de you know, looking, looking to develop vaccines. And he is expressing sort of an optimistic view of this. Absolutely indeed. And just before we let you go, tell us a bit about the politics of the mask. The CDC director again went on to insist that wearing a mask is going to be more effective than a vaccine at this point of time. But Donald Trump, of course, turned around and said that possibly he was just confused. I mean, in many ways, some have said that he's even demeaned the expertise of the CDC director. So it was only pretty late into the pandemic, just a few months ago, that we saw Donald Trump start wearing a mask. Is mask still a very political issue in the United States? It very much is. Um, the wearing of masks, uh, you know, many uh, health experts say should be just a matter of um, advice. If health experts say yes, it's, uh, there's a consensus that mask wearing helps, uh, is effective against uh, coronavirus in terms of the protection it provides, then Americans and people uh, around the world should be wearing them. But in the United States, the issue of mask mandates, the president has uh, resisted issuing a nationwide mask mandate. Many state governors have resisted issuing statewide mask mandates, saying it should be an as and when case by case, according to areas that are particularly hard hit. Um, why should those areas um, that aren't be forced to wear uh, a mask as well. That's the argument. But uh, and it's become an issue that's wrapped around the idea of personal liberty, that many Americans don't like the idea of being told what to do by the government. They say it impinges on their freedom. And many of those people are uh, Trump supporters. And many of those who um, think that uh, mask wearing should be mandatory are Democrat supporters because Joe Biden has said that uh, if he becomes president, he is looking at finding ways in which the, whether to see whether it would be legal to impose a nationwide mask mandate, whether he could impose that on states that are resistant to it. So it has right. become a political issue. It's been for a while and it continues to be so. All right, we'll have to, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Jagruti, the way for joining us and getting us all those insights.